in uh, it's about 7 a.m. and we are already stuck in Toronto traffic. I have two cats in the car. One of them is sulking. She tried to escape from the trunk when I was packing the car and make her run for it. But I think they'll enjoy the new place. Imran is in a U-Haul. It's going to be a long trip for sure. It showed about eight and a half hours when I left and we're obviously gonna have to make a few stops so I think we'll get there like hoping 5 p.m. I also found some people off Craigslist to help us unload the truck. I hope they can come and help us once we get there because I'm going to be exhausted. These past few days have just been ridiculous because I've also been sick. Long drive ahead I have my tea to go and I spilt it already down my shirt and burnt myself but it helped wake me up so you gotta look for the bright side. Hi friends, quick update. We made it here to the house um, probably around 4.30 so they came at 5 and it's I think 10 and from 5 to 10 I was just unpacking boxes and then eating and just showered and I think we're gonna try and set up um, somewhere to sleep for tonight we're gonna go buy a bed um, because I wanted a new bed I really want to splurge on a bed because I've never bought a bed in my life and I think it's time but we do have extra uh, beds for a guest room they're twin beds but they work and we can sleep on them so we might do that i just have to find all the sheets <laughs> he's tired he's had a long day my voice is finally back it only took a week but i really miss talking it's our fourth day since we moved and it's the fourth day since i haven't had a pounding headache so i feel really good today and very grateful and ron and i are going to go shopping i'm going to drag him to target with me so that i can get some organizers I really need cute baskets and I want to get drawer organizers but I don't know like the spacing yet. I'm really excited to go to Target. We are going to go look at beds today. I don't know if we'll actually get the bed today. We might need to wait for it to be delivered but hopefully we do. It's pretty bad here. Inflation though. Tell me what you're doing. It's stupid. This one's in milliliters. And then that one's obviously in grams. So it's hard to calculate the price difference. He just said he's gonna Google the density of the blueberries. So these are trash cans we need, like this big. It's $30 though. I'm so overwhelmed. So I feel like I need everything, but everything's so expensive. And now I'm wondering why I didn't just go on Amazon or wait till Black Friday. It's $30 for that big trash can. What the heck? We're not getting a bunch of organizing <coughs> and stuff. Shower curtains for the guest bathroom. Organizing bins and stuff for behind the door. Okay, so we're gonna go home to eat lunch and then go bed shopping after because some of us are hangry. And I think we went to how many stores? Three altogether. Probably spent about a hundred. Like 80 to 100 bucks, which isn't bad because we got a lot of stuff, just like household stuff and groceries. Okay, so we finished lunch, we are on our way to go bed shopping. It's 5 30. I wanted to nap, but Imran convinced me not to nap and to load myself up with coffee instead. <laughs> So it's now 12 a.m. We did not end up buying a bed. We just tried out a bunch of mattresses and then decided on what type we wanted. Decided that again, online might be a better option for us. So we came home and Imran ordered a mattress from an online company that has a lifetime warranty. It's also supposed to be really good. It's a dream cloud mattress or something like that. I was looking up bed frames online 
for literally hours. I went down a rabbit hole of just looking at bed frames. I also don't know when the mattress is gonna come in. I think it's supposed to be in a few days. Yeah, I guess we'll see. If you can tell, I'm really tired. I was just gonna show some of the stuff that I ended up buying. I did end up getting some organizing stuff. Also just some stuff for the house, like household stuff. I showed that I went to Dollar Tree to get a bunch of stuff and I highly recommend doing it because it's so cheap. You can get, so I got a bunch of these boxes and I think I'm gonna put them in the closet to organize the clothes. They come in like some cute colors. I have a bunch of different organizers that you can put in the closets to help keep everything nice and neat. I bought shower curtains and door hanger things for the guest washroom. And I only had like ugly shower curtains, but I didn't want to spend a lot of money on a shower curtain. I just couldn't. A bunch of these little bins that can, can put some stuff in. Wanna say hi? Say hi. So it's been about almost two weeks. It's Friday. On Monday, it would be two weeks since we moved into this house. We finally have everything almost together. I'm just running right now to Ikea to pick up a king sheet set for our bed because our bed came in. It's built. The company we got the mattress on sent us sheets and pillows like to put on the bed, but we need a duvet or whatever you put, what, comforter, whatever you call that thing that you put on top. We need to be home by five so that Imran and I can go get our phones today. I think we're getting new phones and new phone plans. So I don't have a lot of time, but we're gonna make it work. There's so much here. I have to stop myself from buying it all. It's all so cute. I just finished at Ikea. It's 4.40, so I'm making good time. Two minutes into me in there, I got overwhelmed because I immediately wanted everything and then I had all these ideas for what I wanted to do. But then I was like, okay, no, let's just stick with what I need. Black Friday's coming up soon, so there's no point on splurging. I might as well just get little things here and there. So I did end up getting a bunch of stuff. I ended up like not paying a lot. One of the things so far about being in the States is that I barely spent any money on what I just purchased. In Canada, I would have spent probably at least $50 more for what I got today. So this is the final product for the bed. Unfortunately, it's wrinkly because I don't have a steamer, but this is what the actual bedding looks like. It came with two decorative pillows and then also there's this throw pillow cover. It's more square and I didn't have a pillow that matches it so I have to go back and get two pillows that are basically going to go behind there and then I'll get some throw pillows as well. And then I have two throw blankets. This one I just got because it was on sale. I got this when I went to Ikea. I might move these around like put one in the living room but I'm not sure yet. Then I also got this one for the bed just to add a little bit of color because this is the color of the rug so I thought I would throw a little more color in there once i steam it and get all the right pillows in it but in terms of how comfy the bed is the mattress is really comfy we actually cannot get the cats to come out of our bed so.